Oh, welcome darlings. It's Robin here with your daily spirit message reading for Friday, September 29th. It is Fairy Friday, so I hope you're having a great one. So this is the Fairy Tarot. I'm going to pull one card from this deck and then I'm going to finish the reading using the Crystal Vision. Okay, so yeah, let's hope it's a good one. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'd just like to ask every now and again that you like, share, and subscribe. It really does help me on YouTube. So what do we got here? <clears throat> This card is called Awakening. So, and it's also uh, in the position of the hanged man. Okay, so the angel is, whoops, the fairy is hanging upside down. Kind of reminds me of the Spider-Man movie when they do the upside down kiss, but anyway. So change the way that you're looking at the situation. Embrace your uniqueness. A temporary pause in the action. Okay, there's something here that I'm really focusing on and I just, how many of you have ever been singled out for something that maybe makes you different or weird? Um, you know, if you were picked on or anything like that and I have to tell you that I, I was really, really picked on um, <clears throat> in junior high school. I'm just gonna shuffle the crystal vision. Because I moved from a really small town and I had a really strong accent. I moved to a different part of the country. I didn't dress the same way as other people. Oh, it just was brutal, okay? So, and at that time, I did not understand the power of my uniqueness. I wanted to crawl into a hole and cover myself up, okay? So let's talk about that because you could be experiencing that type of vibe in your current reality. Maybe you just wanna be different and, you know, breathe your own air and, you know, let your wings fly or you could have somebody in your circle that is going through that type of situation. So I'm gonna pull a few cards from the Crystal Vision. We do have the Tower card, Ten of Swords in Reverse, which is nice, okay, and the Nine of Pentacles. So <clears throat> the Tower is saying, this could be very challenging, you know, for you to go through this metamorphosis and, and maybe you're going through some sort of an identity crisis or you want to change a career and you're a little bit later, later on in your life path than other people. I really feel that somebody you know or you specifically is going through a really hard time for expressing their desire to live their life their own way. And it is causing so much tumultuousness. I wanted to make sure that was a word in my head before I said it, okay? So, but the 10 of swords in reverse, like get this just, it's such a weight off of you when you feel free to express your purpose, your individuality, whatever it is that makes you 100% unique. And if you are in a crowd of people that does not celebrate you for being authentically you, for breaking free of the chains that maybe you're holding you back from living a life that you no longer want to live, if you are with the wrong crowd, it is time to find people that will welcome you with open arms, okay? and. This is always going to be your path to the highest abundance in your life. I'm gonna write that down. Hold on for a second. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles and you know what? It can be really torturous to go through a metamorphosis. So I really want you to be sensitive to people around you um, <clears throat> that are going through changes. You know, we, it's not up to us to judge. So I just really want us to embrace everybody's right to express themselves in any way that they want to and I'm gonna wrap it up and I thought it was a really good idea to light a cinnamon stick before the reading but it's really coming back to bite me <laughs> all right guys I'm gonna see you next time bye